Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, what we're going to talk about tonight is probably going to cook your grits. It's going to boil your peanuts. It's going to do whatever saying it is in this great part of the nation you're from. It's probably going to do that to make you angry. Because you guys remember Chris Murphy, Mr. Gun Control in the Senate? Well, he just killed a school safety bill that was proposed by Ted Cruz in the Senate. This one did everything that was required, but yet he still killed it. In fact, I've got a few quotes from Chris Murphy himself on what he called this bill. This one is going to get your goat. Just throw another phrase out there. Everything is linked in the description box below. Please send this out because this exposes Chris Murphy, gun control, mom's man action, all of them for exactly what they are, hypocrites of the highest order. Now I'm going to say a quick word from our sponsor, SDI, returning back this week to sponsor these videos, and then I cannot wait to show you the clips and the bill from Ted Cruz that I'm going to show you. Now, I know a lot of you out there like to repair and upgrade your own guns. If you're looking for a way to take your hobby to the next level, Sonoran Desert Institute can help. The online programs at SDI cover armor courses, gunsmithing, ballistics, woodworking finishes, shooting sports management, and more. Plus, all the tools and materials are shipped directly to your door. There's never been a better time to get a hobby into a job, and this could be something that could really affect you. There's a link in the description box below, and thank you so much for checking them out. And also, thanks to SDI for making the videos this week possible. But all right, brothers and sisters, enough of that. Let's get into this. If you think we earned that subscription, please do it, and we thank you for your consideration. Let's look at Chris Murphy. You guys remember this little chestnut? What are we doing? What are we doing? Well, that was Chris Murphy's impassioned speech that he left on the Senate right after the Evaldi circumstance. You guys know what I'm talking about. It was a tragedy. He took no bones about getting up there in the Senate and saying, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay. Well, now Ted Cruz comes out and puts a bill forward. Again, everything is linked. This is a school safety bill. It has everything that I'm about to show you, yet Chris Murphy said no for some reason. Little teaser. I'm going to show you why at the end of this. This, like I said, is hypocrisy of the highest order. Senator Chris Murphy, Democrat of Connecticut, objected to the Cruz legislation and criticized him for not being serious. Again, I'll show you that at the end. Quote, this isn't real. This is a TV show. This is clickbait. This is theater. This isn't an actual attempt to pass legislation, Murphy said. Well, let me show you what Ted said and then we'll get to the bill. And, let, and it's going to show you what he's calling crazy. Utterly shameful, says Ted Cruz. Well, let's talk about this. Here's the actual bill in totality. The act may be cited as the Securing Our Schools Act of 2022. Well, that sounds kind of like some of the rhetoric that was coming from the left around gun control, doesn't it? Listen to what this bill would have done. Secured campus external gate or locked doors or checkpoints. Active shooter alert systems. Access controls. Internal door locks. Peepholes for classroom doors. School site alarm and protection systems. Metal detectors for and x-ray machines. Door locking mechanisms. Increased lighting, emergency call boxes, two-way radios, emergency alerts. Surveillance cameras or systems and infrastructure such as poles and wiring. Software costs and warranties. Fencing and gating. Emergency generators to provide backup power to phone systems. Okay, well that sounds pretty normal, right? Well listen to what the mental health aspect was here. So here is the improving school security through the cops on the beat program. This is what the excuse me, this is what the actual police officers would have access to. Fencing, external gates, door locks, and check-in points, active shooter alert systems, access controls, internal door locks, school site alarm and protection systems, metal detector, x-rays, ballistic safety equipment, increased lighting, emergency call boxes, two-way radios, emergency alert systems, surveillance cameras or systems, software costs and warranties. So it's very similar of what they would have done across the board. This is also going to go through and support all of the mental funding that is necessary in all these schools. So those are all the things that the left said that they needed to do in, a, in conjunction with gun control. Even though gun control is the only answer, those are part of the problem as well. Well, Ted Cruz put a little bit of a gamble here and let them turn it down. But what do you think that this might be the slight reason why they objected to this bill of everything that I just listed, including appropriating all the money for the, the entire thing I just list, laid out? This is the conditions in order to get the grants. What do you bet this might have a small thing to do with turning this down? Condition of grants. A state awarded a grant under this subsection shall require that each, each eligible school served by the grant. 1. Provide to the parents any student enrolled in the school who has not reached age 18 who meets with a mental health professional employed at the school with all counseling records and mental health assessments for such a student. So the teacher, I mean the, the parents would actually have access to what's being told to their children. They're still minors. What's the problem with that? Well, that can't be it, right? Here's the second one. 
cannot teach Charlie Romeo Tango or include Charlie Romeo Tango in any school programs. Or the third one, cannot advocate for abortion or abortion services in any form. Now keep in mind, this is for elementary through high school. These are all minors. Anybody see anything wrong here? Well, everything that I just laid out for you is what? Chris Murphy was responsible for blocking the actual legislation. It wasn't even allowed to be debated on. It wasn't allowed to be even brought up for a unanimous consent to debate because Chris Murphy said, what did he say? Let's get back here. Let's see what the man actually said. Quote, this isn't real. This is a TV show. This is clickbait. This is theater. This isn't an actual attempt to pass legislation, Murphy said. So this is the same guy who, again, said this. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing indeed, Mr. Chris Murphy, the esteemed Chris Murphy, Murphy, gun control king in the Senate? If the answer that you have is gun control and that's it, and the means the exact same time you turn down mental support funding, you turn down hardening our schools and securing, uh, securing the schools, putting out more uh, resources for school resource officers, more access for police officers to alleviate anything if something does go wrong, yeah, that's not serious. That's TV. That's clickbait. But you getting up on the Senate and saying, what are we doing? What are we doing? And only referring to gun control, your method of prescription for the only solution. I ask you, what are you doing? What are you doing, Chris Murphy? And that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments field below. That's only one of two bills, which I'm going to cover for tomorrow. And I cannot wait to hear what you guys think down there. I'm Braden. See you later.